everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, I love luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here. Today I am doing a collaboration video with the amazing Candy from Candy Sweet Love of LV. Candy reached out to me and said, hey girl, would you collaborate with me? And I was like, sure, I'm more than happy to collaborate with you. I love her collection. She does some fantastic unboxings. She loves Louis Vuitton like I do. Um, so it made perfect sense that if we were going to collaborate, we would collaborate on um, Louis Vuitton. So we are. <laughs> so we're going to do um, a, ta um, a collaboration called Five by Louis Vuitton. And we have chosen five categories of Louis Vuitton pieces to show you our favorites from. So we've chosen an SLG, a travel piece, a mainstay of Louis Vuitton. So something that is available all the time. We've chosen a current season Louis Vuitton. So something that will come and go, but is available right now. And we've chosen a vintage piece um, that we have in our collections. So we're going to do that for you. Um, Candy is lovely. She is sweet. Um, she is just um, a little ray of sunshine and I always enjoy watching her videos. So I will link her channel and her video down below for you. So once you've watched mine, head on over and check out her video. Um, and if you love her as much as I do, then hit her subscribe button as well. So let's look at the pieces that I've chosen for today. So the first piece is the SLG. Now, my SLG is not so um, little. <laughs> I've actually chosen a big SLG, but nonetheless, it is considered an SLG. So the full size wallet is one that um, kind of disappeared off most people's radars during the surgence of mini bags because it doesn't fit in a mini bag. Um, but I love a full size wallet. I struggle to downsize. I carry so many things. Um, and I know a lot of people manage to get everything on their phones now and more power to you. I don't know how you do it. I really struggle with it. So between like my credit cards and debit cards, um, and in Australia, we have Medicare and private health cards. Um, we also, I also have like a petrol card for my um, company car. Um, and yeah, I've just got stuff, business cards, like all this stuff that I just carry. So I always find it really hard to downsize from the full size wallet. Um, and this style is actually my favorite. So this is a zippy wallet from Louis Vuitton. This is my very old one. I'm not in this one at the moment, but it is well loved. And if you look at it, you can see it's kind of faded because I use this for a long time, but you know what? It's held up really well. So when you look inside, Look at all that space, people. Look at it all. <laughs> there are so many guard slots and you can actually get your phone in this. Hang on. Oh, don't knock my coffee over because that would be bad. Um, so you can actually get your phone and mine has a case on at the moment, which makes it probably not great, but I can get my phone in a zippy wallet. So this is why I love the zippy wallet because if I've got to dash out and I don't need to take keys with me, so like I'm just going to run down the shops and I know my partner's still going to be home when I get back, I will literally just take a zippy wallet and shove my phone in it. So I love the zippy wallets. I love the full size wallets. Big bags are coming back, people. If you haven't heard, it's happening. So you can get them in. So that's my first choice from Louis Vuitton. I will always choose a big wallet. My second choice from Louis Vuitton is a travel piece. And for me, it's the niece. So I have all sizes of nieces. Like I've got the really big one that is basically its own beauty case. Um, and then I've got the three sizes. So I've got the big one, the BB, um, sorry, is it a small or is it a medium? Anyway, I've got the one that's up from this. I'm pretty sure this is the BB. And then I've got the Nano as well. The Nano... You know, if you want to carry some lipsticks, it's great. It doesn't hold a whole heap. The big one um, is actually in my walk-in robe at the moment because mine is always packed for um, going away. I've got doubles of everything and I leave it in there. Um, so it's probably my most used one. But the BB is a great size, I've got to say. So if you're not like me and you need to travel with everything because I am a crazy person when it comes to travel, then the BB is a fantastic size. And I've got a little organizer in there at the moment. So if you're getting 
using your very first niece um, and you're looking at the different sizes, I think the BB is probably your best bet. It will suit 75% of people without any problems. I am very much an extremist in that I struggle with travel and downsizing and not taking everything, which is why I live in my big one. But for most people, this is more than adequate. So if you're looking at a travel piece, um, which is super handy and really versatile um, and is not necessarily a cosmetic pouch or a toiletry pouch, because those of you who watch me regularly know I have an obsession with those things. Um, but the nieces, I don't collect this size because my nieces are more than enough to cover all my needs. So they are mainstays in my collection and I really love the BB size. I think it's practical um, and really handy. So that's my second pick. We move on to a vintage piece. This was tough for me. I have a lot of vintage Louis Vuitton pieces. I really do. Um, and I was standing in front of my um, shelves that housed most of them yesterday and just like my head wanted to explode. Which piece do I choose? There were so many. And I literally picked up at least three or four and put them up here in this spot and then put them back. This was where I landed. So. This collection um, was early 2000s. It's a, the denim collection. I'm pretty sure it was still Marc Jacobs while well, Marc Jacobs was still at uh, Louis Vuitton. And this is denim. So this is a pink denim um, speedy. And they didn't do a lot of pieces in the color. They did this pink and they did a green. And I don't own any of the green pieces, but I often keep um, an eye out for them. I bought this brand new from the store. So you can see that mine has patinaed because of its age. It has been used. It's got marks on the handles because I have actually used this bag and I adore this bag. I think this is the most beautiful pink. And when they bought out the new pink denim uh, at the beginning of 2022, which came out with the blue denim collection, there were a couple of pink pieces. It was a really... Um, it was a much softer pink than this. This is a really vibrant pink. And even after all this time, which has got to be coming into 15, 20 years now, it's still super vibrant. So I just love this. And I'll open it up for you guys. It's stuffed with tissue paper. But you can see it's got the pink microfiber lining in it as well. And this is... It's hard for me to say it's my favorite vintage piece because I just have so many of them. But it is certainly up there. It's one of the ones I'm most proud to own because there were so there were so few made of them. Um, and like I say, I am looking for the green as well. And if I found more pink pieces, then I would most certainly buy them if they were in good condition. I can always change the vachetta out. But because they're denim, the pieces you find in the resale market do tend to be a little bit grotty sometimes because they're really hard to clean. And I'm I'm certainly um, guilty of that myself. My bowling bag, which I've traveled with and I've featured in a few videos before, is a little bit grotty now because they are denim. Um, but if I could find them in great condition and the denim was still um, beautiful, then I would certainly continue to collect them because I loved this collection. I feel like it was super underrated. They're not expensive in the resale market because... They just weren't as popular. But yes, I love all the denim pieces, but my pink denim piece is one of my favorites. Moving on to the current collections. So Candy herself just unboxed a beautiful pink twist. Um, I'm pretty sure hers was in the Epi Leather and in the MM size. This is my pink twist with the rose gold hardware. I've not long unboxed it. It is currently available. So it is current season as of right now. And as of right now is the oh, 20... 22nd, 23rd, somewhere around there in October. Honestly, I don't know what the date is today. Um, and I'm, or, I'm trying not to think about it because Christmas is coming and I'm a little bit panicked about that. But anyway, <laughs> different story. Um, so yes, this is currently available. So this is the um, PM Twist in the iridescent pink. And it's got the rose gold hardware. I will find that unboxing video from when I unbox that and link it down below for you as well. Um, and this is current season. Those of you who watch my channel regularly know how much I love a twist. Love the twist. Think they're brilliant bags. Have raved about them for many months now. And I'm sure I bore you all to tears. Um, so the twists are just beautiful bags. They hold like fit. A decent amount like for this size this is a pm this is the smallest size 
actually I lied, there's a mini, but uh, in their standard range, the PM is generally is the smallest. Um, and they hold everything. Seriously. Love these bags. They are durable. They are beautiful. Get involved, people. It's the twist. Um, so this is my pick for what's currently available. I have a lot of pieces coming, guys. Like a lot of pieces. Spring, summer, 23. Oh, strap in. <laughs> There's a fair few pieces coming. Um, but this is available right now. So if you love the twist, if you love pink, this is absolutely gorgeous. It has the rose gold hardware, which Louis Vuitton don't often do. Um, I do know there's another piece coming. Thank you, Foxy LV, um, in the rose gold. And yes, I love this one. So that's my pick for what's currently available. And then my mainstay. So my mainstay piece will probably not shock anyone either. Um, it is a GM Never Fall. There are many people on YouTube who rave about the GM Never Fools and the Never Fools in general. I can think of several off the top of my head. Dale from Dale's Addiction, Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet, Deb from Wild Unfiltered. We all love our Never Fools. We all have fairly extensive collections, I like to think. So I think it's probably strong pra praise for this bag that so many of us who love handbags and collect them continue to rave about the Neverfull GM. So for me, this is the piece that I would start again with if I lost everything. It is one that I use constantly. It is a fantastic travel bag. It is a fantastic everyday bag. It holds so much. Do you know that the GM Neverfulls are made to withstand 90 kilos of weight in them? Fun fact, people, 90 kilos of weight this can hold. That's more than I weigh. It's more than me and my kids together. So in fairness, we're not putting that much weight in it, I hope, but most certainly they take a fair bit of weight. Um, if you're putting that on your shoulder, you're going to need a really good chiropractor afterwards. So you might want to look into that. But if you are just putting your day-to-day -day stuff in it and not testing my um, fun fact about 90 kilos, then it will absolutely get you through your days. Um, so yes, the GM never full get involved if you need a big bag. This is my choice. I currently have um, someone I work with, her daughter wants to buy herself a bag to celebrate a brand new job. Um, and she texts me and said, hey, you know about Louis Vuitton, she's looking at the on the go in the MM size. And I was like, yeah, I can, I can hook her up with a sales associate and she can absolutely go buy that. But if she wants an everyday bag, can I strongly suggest the Never Fall as a better option just because the on the go is boxy and it gets weighty because um, it already weighs so much when it's got nothing in it. So that would always be my suggestion to anyone who is starting out. A Never Fall is a fantastic bag. I have really enjoyed putting together these bags today. I am so grateful to Candy um, from Candy's Sweet Love of LV uh, for approaching me and asking me if I wanted to do a tag, uh, wanted to do a collaboration video with her. Um, I am always more than happy to do collaborations. I admit that I was um, really tardy in getting this done that she asked me weeks ago and I just haven't had time to film. This time of year I start to get super busy around with work um, and it's really a downhill slide into Christmas which I am just like screaming in my head about the fact it's so close um, and I have done no Christmas shopping um, but I um, am so grateful that she hung hung in there with me and waited for me to do it please if you haven't checked out her channel go and check out her channel it is linked below for you I will also link the video that follows on from this one for you um, I hope if you have enjoyed today's video you'll hit the subscribe button down below for me I would love to have you here I also have an Instagram account that um, if you want to come follow me over there, I put up lots in real time, lots around my outfits of the day, bags I'm carrying, um, lots of information I get from sales associates about incoming collections. So please come follow me over there. I'll put my handle up for you down below. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.